The Pentagon has stated that the U.S. Air Force has chosen Rolls-Royce North American Division to supply F-130 turbofans to re-engine its fleet of B-52H bombers. The F-130 beat out General Electric's CF-3410 and Pratt & Whitney's PW-800 to secure this deal. As per the Pentagon announcement, this contract provides for 608 commercial engines plus spare engines, associated support equipment, and commercial engineering data to include sustainment activities to be used on the B-52H bomber fleet. The location of performance is Indianapolis, Indiana, and work is expected to be completed by September 23, 2038. This is enough for one-on-one -on -one replacements of the eight Pratt & Whitney engines found on each of the 76 B-52H bombers. B-52 is currently powered by Pratt & Whitney TF-33 turbojet engines. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. Air Force is spending millions to replace engines of B-52 bombers. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American, long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It has been operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s. Superior performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs have kept the B-52 in service despite the advent of more advanced aircraft, including the Variable Geometry B-1 Lancer and the Stealth B-2 Spirit. H-Variant has several upgrades compared to the previous ones, like better avionics. There are certain factors that have kept the bomber relevant even after 70 years. Let's check them one by one. On the 14th of December 1960, a B-52G set a world distance record by flying unrefueled for 10,000 78.84 miles, or 16,227 kilometers. The flight lasted 19 hours and 44 minutes. From the 10th to the 11th of January 1962, a B-52H 600-0040 set a world distance record, surpassing the prior B-52 record by flying unrefueled from Kadena Air Base. Okinawa Prefecture, Japan, to Torahan Air Base, Spain, which covered 12,532.28 miles or 20,177 kilometers. B-52 has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles or 14,080 kilometers without aerial refueling. The massive range enables the B-52 to perform strategic bombing but things are going to improve further. According to Rolls-Royce, once installed, the F-130 will provide vastly greater fuel efficiency while increasing range and reducing tanker aircraft requirements. F-130 also has the benefit of being an established in-production design. Viewers may note that F-130 is the military designation for Rolls-Royce's popular BR-700 which powers a variety of different business jets as well as Boeing 717 airliner. The 
The B-52 is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear weapons and has a payload capacity of 70,000 pounds or 32,000 kilograms. This makes it a very good platform as multiple high-value targets can be taken out in a single mission. Since B-52 has a large radar cross-section and low speed, it's vulnerable to modern air defense systems. To mitigate this, the massive payload capacity was leveraged and cruise missiles were integrated into the aircraft so that the aircraft can hit targets without having to get inside the opponent's strike envelope. The ability to carry up to 20 AGM-69 SRAM nuclear missiles was added to G and H models starting in 1971. To further improve its offensive ability, AGM-86 was also added to the inventory. A total of 194 B-52 Gs and Hs were modified to carry AGM-86s, carrying 12 missiles on underwing pylons. With 82 B-52 Hs further modified to carry another 8 missiles on a rotary launcher fitted in the bomb bay. The missile has a range of 1,490 miles or 2,400 kilometers, depending on the variant, and enables the B-52 to launch it far off from the target. Going forward, new standoff weapons will be added to the inventory, including AGM-183A, Air Launched, Rapid Response, Aero, Hypersonic Missile, and Future Long Range Standoff LRSO, Nuclear Armed Air Launched Cruise Missile. Viewers may note that in June 2018, the Air Force announced it was looking to purchase new pylons for the B-52 to carry multiple, unspecified, 20,000-pound class weapons. Depending on the exact size of the Aero, B-52 may be one of only the few aircraft that will be able to carry this large missile. Hypersonic weapons like Aero will give B-52s a potent punch. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Currently, there is no dependable defense against hypersonic weapons. LRSO will be the weapon to replace AGM-86B. It's to be noted that AGM-86B is one of the crucial elements of the United States nuclear deterrence since it carries the W-80 warhead. The U.S. Air Force plans to spend up to about $2.8 billion on the LRSO program through 2022. The service has estimated that it will spend nearly $10 billion to acquire about 1,000 LSRO missiles. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.